Uh, fire does, so if you are a spellcaster, you've been putting more into wisdom. Congratulations, you just use fire until you win. Wait for the world bar to fill up, and then cast. This way, you don't have to worry about running into spikes. Getting hit to spikes and not getting out of them fast enough. Just not being a good player like me. <laughs> um, but joking aside, this is a painless way to fight Mantis Ant. Not that he's hard anyway. There you go. Again, you just have to keep your HP up if you are going to melee. Because these spikes really hurt. Alright, this looks super mystical and fancy. Have the Rusty Sword equipped. Rusty Sword released its mystic power. Tower of Dime will appear somewhere in this desert. <gasps> now we just have to go look for it. Um... Well, I'm not going to to go rest. I have to find the tower. I don't remember exactly where the tower is. Right there. Aha! <laughs> I'll have to say around this area. Then, there you go. There you go. It takes some time for it to get all the way up. Let's go ahead and save. Okay. Wait for me! I am Marcy. I search relics. Dr. Bow Wow made me. Oh! The dog made you. Hi. He left me here. I waited 50 years. He forgot me. Now that's extremely sad. That or the. You know, Dime Tower sank into the desert, and he's like, oh no, I can't go get Marcy. I can help you. Take me with you. And Marcy most definitely can help you. When you ask Marcy for help, I recover your MP just like that. Full MP. <laughs> yes. So, have fun casting Nuke. This is your time to really have fun with the nuke spell. Also, Marcy has this laser beam attack that wrecks enemies. Um, everything is great. <laughs> when nuke works. Oh, there we go. Oh no, I'm running low on MP. It's great, and yes, there's no limit to this. Every time you ask for MP, you get full MP. There's no strings attached. Oh, we have a lot of me switching spells here. Everything. I think lightning works, yes. Hey, hello! I'm gonna go ahead and just keep the the morning star out here. I'm gonna be spell casting anyway for the most part. And things I can't hit with spells the morning star will be able to hit. Good job, Marcy. Thumbs up, thumbs down! <laughs> and dagger. Sword, dagger. Up. Okay. Throughout this dungeon, you can find these tablets. I will try to find them all. Sometimes we end up taking the right way, and and I'll go back. But I will try to find these because they tell you with um they give you some more story, uh, which is cool. Tree of mana grows with the energy of nature. Okay. Now, throughout the dungeon, we'll find a handful, I believe. I'm trying to remember exactly how many. So that I don't remember. That's probably the way to go since I had to find it. We're gonna check down here first. Again, for more tablets. Uh oh, well that's locked. Mm, I should have picked up more keys. Alright, here's another tablet. The evil force of people makes the tree evil. So if people are good, the tree is good. If people are bad, the tree is bad. Or is the person that you know, is controlling the tree. There's like the one enemy in here. I have like two enemies in here. I can't hit with them. Go away. <laughs> there we go. 
go around. Yay, more MP! It's so nice. Even if you're going just a... a route that's primarily attack. Marcy still helps you because you can cure yourself for free. So there's a lot of side rooms here for the for the story. There's stairs. Um, okay, I don't want to take the stairs. Let's keep looking down here. Um, no guarantee I'm going to find them all. Sorry. I will try, though. Okay, the stairs up is probably, probably the way to go. That was the entrance. Okay, feel pretty good about this floor. Let's move on. Also, great time to get XP and levels. You practically have a walking in. Really, more than, other than a few bosses, the thing that's going to hurt you the most in the latter part of the game is floor tiles. I wanted to show that off, but I probably should have waited so I don't miss uh, tablets. Hindsight and all that. Pretty sure, but I, I won't risk it. Oh, key, sweet. Just in case. I have an extra thing to keep. This is the entrance, yes. <laughs> Making sure before I walk out. Got my directions all mixed up. Good job, me. Because we went up the stairs, down the stairs. And if I looked at the map more closely, I would have saw that was a dead end. I am just doing a fantastic job for all of you today. <laughs> more XP? Yeah, that's what I was trying to show off. More XP. Right, here's another tablet. Can't read it upside down, that's a shame. One who touches the mana tree gets the mighty power. Right, more stairs up. I'm not gonna take those yet. We'll want to take those. I do believe. Hey, another level. Revenge on these enemies, by the way. Just knock them out with nude. Water from the evil mana tree turns people evil. It is a vicious cycle between energy and mana. Which we don't want the mana tree to be evil. That's bad. What kind of mana tree do you think it will be if Julius gets a hold of it? <laughs> cool. Right, let's head up to the third floor. If you are, um, ha if you have invo frames when you try to go into a door, it doesn't work. There's another way up. Uh, again, which is where you want to go, but I'm not going to to try to find more of the tablets for you. Ah, dragon armor. There we go. Dragon armor. Six more defense power. Nice. Put that down there. Let's say before I got the dragon armor. This place really isn't that long, especially if you know exactly where to go. Or just stumble on the right... The right places to go. Uh, it's actually fairly short. If you don't want to find any of the tablets. Like, none of that that matters to you uh, you can even grab the the armor and then just keep running because I think that's it here there's another tablet Gemma Knight with the rusty sword will be tested the true Gemma Knight should be given the legendary sword Excalibur that's right the rusty sword is just a test Excalibur is the true legendary sword, which is a legendary sword. Absolutely. In many games, which I uh, really do appreciate. Sadly, Excalibur's power over the years um, has been, in, in terms of games, has been lessened. And the reason for that is, there was like, oh, it's always Excalibur. Let's do other swords. And then they start making up swords sometimes. Uh, sometimes they use other legendary swords, uh, such as Ragnarok or um, Durandal. Uh, things like that. But over time, at least just from what I've seen in my jeez, almost like 25 years of playing video games now, that Excalibur has kind of become overshadowed. Like, everybody knows Excalibur. It's like, oh, Excalibur, this legendary sword. But in a lot of recent games, you don't get that. And it's, uh, it's sad me it's a it's still usually a high tier weapon yeah you know, high tier sword sometimes no um but like the traditional Excalibur sword 
you can't rest here even when the enemies are here. They just they just leave you alone. It's like, oh, that that's rude. We can't hit him while he's while he's sleeping. I mean, don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. There we go. Sometimes that one can be finicky too, so just leave and come back. Anyway, in this game, Excalibur is the strongest weapon you're going to get. Which is great. Like I said, love Excalibur. It's this legendary sword, and I like when it's treated as such. The Vendal should... The Vandal soon should fall. We leave our last hope in the Cave of the Waterfalls. Glory to Vandal and to our Child of Hope. Well, there we go. All right, now we definitely want to save. <laughs> this is Garuda! To, uh, go- Oh! I had to equip. I did not have cure equipped. <laughs> Which, again, is a FF1 reference, which is great. Um, unless you really mess up, like I almost did at the beginning, you will not lose that fight. Because, yeah, Marcy, you have infinite MP. You could spam Cure. You can spam... whatever. <laughs> it's, it's not a hard fight. <laughs> However, when the fight is done. Tower lost its balance. Must hurry out. Hey, that's no good. We need to leave. <gasps> oh, no. I throw you and I jump. Can you? Alright, let's do that. Throw me over. Because one space is a lot. <laughs> now! Come on, Marcy! You have to save the world. You are the only hope. What are you talking about? Come on! Jump! I am unable to jump. What? I was made to work in here, and I sleep here. Marcy! See you sometime, kid. No, Marcy. Another companion that has uh, sadly given up their life to save the world. For the hope that I'll save the world. It's very sad. Um, Marcy, uh, you just have Marcy for just a little bit, is a, a very, very great companion. You have this robot who has forgotten for 50 years. And is like, oh, I'll help you. And has one of the best abilities give you all your MP back instantly, if not the best ability. Sorry, sweetheart. <laughs> um, getting all your MP back instantly like that is is phenomenal. Even there, you know, I'll jump, then I'll jump. Oh, okay, let's do it. I can't jump. Near the whole time. With that, though, we're back at where our adventure began. With the um, power of the sword, we're able to get to the top of the waterfall. And we're finally, finally able to pursue Julius and um, Finn. This is the Tower of Gemma, and we'll go over it next time. This is very close to the end. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. 
Hope you had a lot of fun, and um, we will make sure that Marcy's sacrifice was not in vain. That we will save the world. And many of our other companions that have fallen over the course of the adventure. Uh, if you did like the video, please click the like button, because you liked the video. <laughs> and subscribe to the channel. Until the next episode, I'm Sindral. Remember to shoot for the stars, and take care, everyone.